This is the Transformers Generations Studio Series Core Class Autobot Ratchet from the movie Transformers the movie way back in 1986. So it's just plain Studio Series, no Studio Series 86 uh, demarcation. I picked up this figure from Hobby Corner. Let's get him out of packaging. Here we have Core Class Ratchet out of packaging. Boy, this figure looks so great. Let's just jump right to it. This is how you do a core class figure. It's so polished, it's clean. The alt mode and uh, robot mode both look amazing. Look how solid this figure looks. He comes with two accessories, two guns that are similar to Ironhide's guns. So I'm guessing since we don't get tools, medical tools or repair tools for this guy, I guess Hasbro has already prepped this guy to be redecoed into Ironhide, which is all well and good. But look at him. So solid. Transformation is fun. It's The transformation isn't annoying. It's well engineered. It turns into a very solid alt mode. Look at the sculpt on this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's nothing like what they did with this. I mean, kaya naman pala Why will you give us a half-baked product? If you guys can do an absolutely amazing product, ang kaya naman pala gumawa ng pulido at napakagandang figure, anak ng tok at tinapay, bakit gagawa ng ganito? Okay, these two have the same price point. They're about, here in Manila, they're going for about... 17 16 dollars and i'm sure in your part of the uh, part of the world is probably what 14 15 but same price point i doubt the plastic is the same i i'm pretty sure this has more plastic and it's not just the illusion created uh be, because it really just does have a lot more plastic i don't even have to put out my weighing scale look at that Paint apps, uh, okay, one might argue that this might have more, okay. But in terms of engineering, this one is properly engineered. This one is just a big mess, and I, I don't know what they got into, okay? Kaya nyo naman palang gawa ng magandang Transformers figure. Bakit hindi na lang ganito ang ginawa nyo, tulad ng ginawa nyo? Sa Ratchet, ganun na rin sana ginawa nyo dito. Unbelievable. Okay, anyway, enough ranting. The figure looks fantastic. Look at this head sculpt. It is so G1 Ratchet. Oh, man, I love it. Now, the logo is sort of like a... It's not really a red cross. It's an Autobot logo with sort of like a cross. An X with a... It feels like it's an asterisk. Uh, I guess they couldn't get the red cross's logo. That's all well and good. It's okay. Uh, he's got a little bit of red paint right here. Some really nice baby blue matte finish right here on the windshield and the side windows you got the light bar painted as well as the bumper everything looks great with this figure if at all you know maybe a bit more highlights on the knees and the arms would have been nice but if i remember g1 he was like almost completely white uh in paint so this is this is just near perfect g1 ratchet i mean for a core class figure Okay, articulation for the figure. He's got a uh, ball jointed neck. No waist or torso articulation. A little bit of a hinge right here because of transformation. Shoulders can go backwards because of transformation. You go in and out, forward and backward, 360. Uh, you got a bicep swivel. Hinge elbow, that's what, 100 degrees? 95 degree bend. And no wrist articulation. You get a you get ball joints for the hips ball joints for the knees and that's about it if they had put rocker joints man this would be an epic figure so he's got these guns these pistols blaster pistols very much like what i what ironhide i suppose would have so they can easily redeco this figure into ironhide just remold this roof and then um, remold the head sculpt repaint him do him in red plastic and he's ironhide very very nice absolutely wonderful i mean Praise where praise is due. This is a great figure. For some comparisons, here he is with the rest of the Autobots in the core class. We got Bumblebee. He's about, about the same height as Bumblebee, just uh, two millimeters taller. You've got Hot Rod, which actually scales more like Rodimus Prime. You've got Optimus Prime, and of course you've got Wheelie. I don't even know why this guy is here. He's only in scale with the other Pseudo series, Deluxes and Voyagers, not in scale with the rest of the core class figures these are actually the ones that are really just in scale and i cannot wait for ironhide and more autobots man the core class 
figures. They're just killing it right now with releases such as this. So before moving on to transformation, just a few more comparisons. Here he is with the Earthrise uh, Deluxe Class Ratchet, as well as the Transformers Bumblebee movie uh, Studio Series Deluxe Class Ratchet. The figure also comes with a diorama, so you can recreate that tragic death scene of Ratchet during the movie. Oh, come on, Hasbro. Really? You want us to recreate one of the sad moments in the movie. So transformation, put the weapons off to the side. I'm going to fold the chest forward so you can, you can fold the head down. Don't worry, this thing, the panel really moves with the head. It allows you to, it'll allow you to lift the head up when you, when you turn him back into robot mode, but uh, the panel will actually move the head down and it will fold back up so you can put the windshield back into place put the roof on top okay and then uh, the feet you know, or the legs you want to rotate them off to the side like that same thing with the arms rotate the bicep like this you want to fold the arms up like that then rotate the shoulders like this it's a shame that the medical logo is going to be covered and not going to be visible in, in alt mode but that's okay all right rotate that waist piece and line up the bumper with the windshield and then this piece right here there's a hinge on the torso fold it up like this then the panels right here on the legs you want to swing them out like that make sure everything's lined up and then you're going to close in and cover the arms and form the rear part of the vehicle and then finally, these uh, shin panels, I should say, or leg, leg panels are going to flip open. And then they're going to complete the vehicle mode. There are teeny tiny pegs right there. Make sure you don't break them. They're going to slot into those little peg holes right there. So do be careful. Just gingerly tab them into place. And there you go. There is Core Class Ratchet in his ambulance earth mode, alt mode. I mean, come on. This is how you do a transformation. It's solid. The alt mode looks great, albeit it's lacking a few paint apps here and there. It's fine. It looks amazing. Very solid looking, I guess, cherry vanette-ish type of ambulance. Even has a rear spoiler. I love that. Okay, and then you can put the, the weapons right here on the side i mean an ambulance with guns with blaster pistols really suspect it's a robot in disguise <laughs> we're just gonna get rid of those i mean just really appreciate how nice this is i mean for a core class figure come on man really really nice beautiful transformation transition into car mode man okay enough gushing let's do some comparisons here he is with Core class Optimus Prime. Uh, obviously not in scale. Alt mode, he's way too big in scale for a semi-truck. A semi-truck should be much bigger like this. But uh, it's a core class figure, so it's okay. Here we go with the Earth, Earth mode or Earth Rise Ratchet. I mean, from here on, if you don't look at the feet, I mean, this is a really cool looking alt mode. And it sort of mimics that. In the core class but look at the rear no contest look at how nice this is and so some final thoughts on studio series core class ratchet man i love this figure this figure is a perfect example of how you do a core class figure it's got a great robot mode it has, it's got a great vehicle mode transformation was fantastic very solid looking in both modes if i'm gonna fault this figure it's probably these uh, thigh pieces and the neck pieces that are beginning to show some signs of yellowing. They're in this off-white plastic color. I don't think it's yellowing just yet. I think it's just the way they molded the plastic they used in off-white, an off-white colored plastic. So it's probably not yellowing, if at all. That's just me nitpicking any flaw I could just find with this figure. But overall, it is a perfect figure. I cannot wait for them to redo this as Ironhide. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. Solid 10, man. Ganito dapat gawin ang core class figures, Hasbro. Nakikinig ba kayo? 
I mean, if you're if you're listening, Hasbro Takaratomi, this is how you do a core class figure. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Studio Series core class ratchet from the movie Transformers, the movie back in 1986. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.